Good morning, my darlings. For today's look, I show you how I incorporate color that isn't actually my best color for my combination of hair, skin, eye. But I think I pull it off, and you can too. So because my hair is so cool, because it's so silvery gray, my eyes are so cool because they're such a light green. My skin is neutral. I suit the neutral to cool to very cool colors. But sometimes we just love items that aren't necessarily our best color. There are other redeeming features about them or maybe we don't care. We just like, we're just gonna wear them. This bad skirt is one that I would put in a category of not my best color, but I just love it. I've got a black one, the same that you've seen. I pulled it out for Lady Macbeth last week. This one's a real copper and it's got yellowy gold flecks through it. So it's about as warm as you can get, which is about as opposite to my most suited color palette. But I've taken Trini's uh, explicit teachings on board. She tells us that sometimes we can wear a color that is our least complimentary color on the bottom half of our body, or at least not directly in the vicinity of our face. So I've applied that. When I actually saw the skirt and it was, you know, on this ridiculous clearance, I thought, well, at least it's not a blouse or a top or a dress. You know, I can break it up by putting more colors that are more complimentary to me on my top half of my body. I've applied that, that rule. It's only a rule, so we can break them, we can bend them, we can do whatever the heck we want. And then on the top, I've made sure, one, that it's a, it's, you know, you've seen this one before, I wore it recently. Um, one, it goes sort of with the vibe, it's called sort of gypsies, this whole look, isn't it? But it complements the colours in the skirt, so we've definitely got some rusty, coppery, floral detail. But also, there are colours in the blouse that are really great colours for me. This deep, plummy burgundy is a good, cool red, really brown for me. This beautiful, cornflower cool blue. This pale pink is going to be pretty good on everybody. And a white, which is bringing lightness and brightness to the face. That's the trick. Another thing that I've done is I've pulled my hair back off my face, so there's less light silver to kind of contrast against the rich warmth of the copper. And then the earrings. I just need to talk about the earrings. See, when I bought the skirt, I went to La Visa to find some earrings that would work in with it. And like they totally do. The colors are mirrored and they work in nicely with the, with the top as well. Love them because they're huge hoops. They're going with my gypsy vibe. I'm going to wear them. But I know that they're not as flattering on me as something like this, which works just beautifully. So they've got the beautiful rich gold around the edge, which works in with the copper, which works in with the goldy okra ideas in the top. And see how they're actually bringing light to my face and sort of detracts from the fact that this color isn't my best color. So I'll definitely do that another day. <clears throat> But I love these earrings, so I'm just gonna wear them because I haven't worn them yet. But I acknowledge that these are more complimentary. Another earring that I could have done that I have worn with this top before are these blue ones. It's more keeping with my cool palette and also links in with the top, which is allows me to wear them with the skirt. Again, I admit more complimentary on my coloring and my whole look than these, but I'm still gonna wear them. Because sometimes you just think, stop it. So that's a little tip there. Um, the other thing I want to show you is my fab belt. Now I bought this. I realized I don't actually have a whole lot of my wardrobe that I can wear it with because it's the color is probably, again, see, it's not one of my best colors. It would be better in a different one, but I only came in this in black. I had to have it. I just grabbed this out quickly too, because I thought um, it's another kind of um, Trini moment. If I wanted to wear the skirt on a different day, I might pair it with a nice soft blouse and, a, and an ivory or an ecru shade. And then a scarf can be a connecting factor. So the scarf can allow me to get away with wearing this color that isn't so great because it ties in the ideas in the skirt to the top. And I got this scarf in Kmart and it was half the size that it is now. And I thought that it's got great colors in it. And I was thinking about Trini's teaching. I was thinking about the fact that she had said, you know, you can look for 
jewelry and scarves that connect colors that are very good on your coloring, like this gorgeous silvery blue, with colors that aren't so good with your coloring that you still like, like this coppery brown. So I grabbed two and then I got my lady to cut one of them in half and sew an extension on each end. $7 for each scarf, $14 and look at it. The reason I got the, her to do it that way is because I didn't want a seam running down the centre. Because when I do wear it, obviously not with this blouse, but I'll just show you. I want to be able to, I want to be able to drape it, you know, when it's cooler. And I don't want an unsightly line running down the middle. Just thought that was a good little tip to share. All right, we need to break down this makeup. Because I've applied the same ideas in my makeup. I've purposely brought in the colors from my skirt that aren't my best colors. But I think I've pulled it off. First day in ages, I didn't use MAC Paint Pot and Painterly as my eye base because it has got a slightly pinky undertone and they do, MAC does have an okra, more of an okra um, color, which I want to get hold of, but I don't have it at the moment. So I just used a little bit of eye primer and concealer. And then I've gone in and I've done the whole lid, whole lid, I went, even went into the inner area um, and this golden okra, because that is represented in the top. You can see it here. And it also connects in with the flex in the skirt. And while the colors that I'm using aren't necessarily my best colors for my hair, they are a nice contrast against the green of my eyes. So I can make that work, especially when I go into this one. Trini London's Fortitude. Over the top of okra, I've picked this up on a large soft fluffy brush and I've worked it into the outer V. Okay, so on my eye, you can see the okra on this side and then the Fortitude is on this side and underneath the whole eye area. And then I've gone into my model rock palette and I've picked up Hyper Bronze, which is fabulous. I've pressed this one in on the um, lower lid, close to the lash line, but I've also not been afraid to bring it up to the crease. I've taken this um, also underneath the eye, just under the tear duct and in this inner area here and blended it into Fortitude. Then I've picked up Orion, so I'm referencing the blue in my top. And my makeup, stamped that into the inner eye area, taking it under the brow. And then I've used Eclipse down the nose and on the cheeks. Blush today is a mixture of Trini London's Fortitude again and, and Max Coral Bliss. So even though this one's an eye product, it's creamy. You can use it on your cheeks. I use it on my lips as well. I needed to use a little bit of this one because the, the colors are, are dirty. They're not pure. This is also the connector to my lips. I've blended it though with my favorite because that is just a perfect match with this leaf detail on the top. It's very, very dark. Lightened it up a little bit with Coral Bliss. Little blue crossbody bag today. And that is how I'm going to go and rock a color palette that isn't theoretically my best. Have a good day. See you on the next one.